Welcome to Fenland Falls. People are falling in love with this community and we want to show you why. Come with us as we take a closer look at the town of Fenland Falls in the Kawartha Lakes region of Ontario. If you're considering making a move or just curious about this picturesque spot, you're in the right place. We're sharing the pros and cons of small town living. All right, let's kick things off with one of the biggest pros of living in Fenland Falls. What's that, Dean? It's that small town charm. Mm. You know, the shops lining Colburn Street, Fenland's Main Street, to the restaurants and ice cream shops. Fenland Falls offers a relaxed, inclusive, small town vibe. Imagine those friendly faces on every corner, a tight knit community where everyone knows your name. What show was that? Fenland Falls offers small town charm and an unmistakable sense of belonging. That's right, Dean. Known as the jewel of the Kawarthas, Fenland Falls isn't just a pretty face. It's a breathtaking masterpiece of nature's wonders. You might think it's corny, but I think it's true. Okay. From stunning Cameron Lake to the peaceful hiking trails, this place is a paradise for nature enthusiasts. Whether you're into kayaking, fishing, or simply enjoying a relaxing sunset by the water, Fenland Falls has got you covered. You can cruise the Trent Severn Waterway, enjoying fun on Cameron or Sturgeon Lakes, or even relax on shore with ice cream and watch the boats go by through the locks. Now, if power boating or fishing is more your speed, there's a public boat launch at the very end of Water Street with parking nearby. This boat launch will give you access to Cameron Lake, and if you want to explore even further, you can easily pick up a pass from the Lockmaster at Lock 34, and then, the entirety of the Trent Severn Waterway will be available for you. Mm. You want to cool off? Well, take a swim at Garnet Graham Beach Park. Between the splash pad, sandy beach, and shady pavilion overlooking Cameron Lake, there is something for everyone to enjoy. But if you want to maybe take a hike, you can always use the Victoria Rail Trail. The 55 kilometer corridor stretches from Lindsay in the south all the way to Kin Mount in the north and passes right through downtown Fenland Falls. The trail is used for year-round hiking, horseback riding, cycling, snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, and snowmobiling. Dean, let's talk about another aspect that makes Fenland Falls stand out, and that's its close-knit community. Well, you're right about that. Mm. Sure, it's a small community, but that's where its strength truly lies. You're going to quickly find yourself making friends left and right, and it won't be long before you're part of this heartwarming community's tapestry. Fenland Falls really is a place where you'll find neighbours lending a hand and that true sense of community. The town really has cracked the code on community. Everyone, young and old, get involved in their many festivals and seasonal celebrations. How about the heart of Fenland Falls, Jenny? It's charming downtown area. That's really where it is. Imagine strolling down streets lined with boutique shops, quaint cafes, and local galleries. That is right up my alley, Dean. It sure is. And whether you're in the mood for a leisurely shopping spree or you want to grab a coffee and people watch, the downtown area is a treat you'll fall in love with. Fenland Falls is a walkable town, and most of the community neighborhoods are designed around that main street. You'll see many full-time residents, as well as seasonal cottagers and tourists out and about on any given day, enjoying the eclectic mix of antique stores, gift shops, coffee houses, health and wellness services, and fine dining restaurants. Of course, no place is without its drawbacks. With Fenland Falls, one challenge to consider is limited job opportunities. While the town offers a great family-friendly community and serene lifestyle, many residents commute to larger centres like Lindsay or Peterborough or even Toronto for employment. With the Durham College GO station only 94 kilometres away, residents can be in Oshawa in a little over an hour and at Union Station downtown Toronto in just over two hours. Well, it's not ideal for a daily commute. No, it's not but something to consider if you have a more flexible schedule. If you're a winter enthusiast like I am, well, you're in for a treat. In the cold weather months, Fenland Falls transforms into a picturesque winter wonder land, offering outdoor activities like ice skating, snowshoeing, ice fishing, and of course, snowmobiling. There really is something magical 
about skating on a frozen lake. You'll find homemade rinks dotting the shores of most lakes in the Kawarthas, but there are also arenas and curling rinks if you like to get away from the harsher temperatures. Like I do, Dean. That's right. Yes. <laughs> so between the frozen lakes, the Victoria Rail Trail, and the OFSC Trails, Fenland Falls, and the Kawartha Lakes are a snowmobiler's playground. Mm -hmm. In some cases, it's faster and easier to travel by snowmobile than vehicle in the winter months. And it's not unusual to see a line of snowmobiles parked outside the high school for students who'd rather ride to school than take the bus. Well, that's more exciting. It is. It's quite a way to live. However, for those who aren't big fans of the cold, the winter might, might be a bit of a downside. And many residents enjoy the snowbird lifestyle, spending the winter months in the south where they can enjoy the warmer temperatures. Okay. Spend any time here at all and you'll agree that Fenland Falls is a place where the sense of connection, community, and natural beauty run deep. While job opportunities and chilly winters might give you pause, ultimately the decision to call Fenland Falls home depends on what matters most to you. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any great Kawartha Lakes real estate and lifestyle information. And please, drop your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you.